what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new vlog. We are in Venice, Italy, and we were just in Florence, and I did a whole vlog on that, and I did a Positano vlog before that, so those vlogs are probably already up by now. I'm going to add them all to my travel playlist, as well as making a separate Italy playlist on YouTube so that you can binge it all at once if you guys are traveling to Italy, save my recommendations, and let me know if you guys try out any of the places we've been to. So here is our room in Venezia. I realized I didn't really talk about where we stayed in the other vlogs so I'm definitely gonna like add in some iPhone clips and do a little voiceover but this hotel is the San Palazzo Lorenzo or I think Palazzo San Lorenzo that sounds more right so we're staying here and it's a really really good location I honestly don't even know how I found it I was just kind of like doing research and looking at reviews online um, but it's like really close to the bridge of size and just like um, I think it's called st. Mark's Square I'll definitely know in a few hours when we go get to explore but I read the weather before coming here because Florence was pretty freaking cold and it said that Venice was going to be even colder so I was going to literally put on two sweatpants. I get cold really easily and then I was going to wear this and then like a jacket and a scarf. Well, I, I did wear that. I just didn't do the two sweatpants and thank god I didn't because oh my god we were sweating. We took the train from Florence to Venice and I don't know how this happened but I ended up booking a train from Venice to Florence. Like I don't understand how that happened but i only realized that literally like 20 minutes before we were supposed to get bored the train so i had to rebuy a ticket i emailed the company to see if i could get a refund but i'm i'm not even sure maybe i'll just have to take that loss i just feel so dumb like how the frick did that happen anyways we got here right on time our room was ready early it's currently 1 30 and i think check-in was at 2 so perfect time because i didn't really want to leave my luggage downstairs even though they were very gracious and said we could do that and tomorrow we're gonna have to because checkout's at 11 and we're gonna only go to rome probably at like 4 p.m tomorrow so yeah, that is the update. I don't know if I should like do my makeup or like have a no makeup day because I'm just like not really feeling it, but I do need to freshen up because I am sweaty. My hair was like creasing in the bangs, so I just did these little braids. Life hack, it actually looks pretty good. And then I'm re-wearing this romper. It's free people and it's so comfortable, so flattering. I'm obsessed with it. Got my Marc Jacobs snapshot bag on, even though I wish it was a designer bag that I bought in Florence, but you know, it's okay. One day my closet will be filled with designer bags. Well, I guess this is technically is a designer bag, but you know what I mean. I saw this YSL one that I was in love with, but didn't want to buy it on this trip. So we're gonna go explore, get something to eat. What time is it? Almost two and we haven't eaten mm -hmm. anything today. So we are hungry. We're out and again, Shout out to my man upstairs because it was supposed to be raining by now and it's not gonna rain until like four, but I just, how can it rain when it's this pretty outside, right? It just doesn't make sense to me. I'm really hoping it doesn't, but Ryan does have a call later anyway, so we're gonna go back to the hotel and chill for a little bit. Um, the hotel staff said we need to make a reservation for dinner, so we're gonna do some research at lunch for where we should go for dinner. But right now, we just pick some random place off Yelp, crossing our fingers that it's good. They all look the same. They all have like pictures of spaghetti and clams. So I just don't know which one to choose, honestly. So it's really hard. I feel like in America, like not every restaurant's pasta, but here, obviously, everything's pasta. Your seafood. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so Venice is known for their seafood. I asked the front desk lady, is there a good sushi here? She recommended me one place and it's unfortunately closed until Thursday, I'm so sad. In a lot of the restaurants, they have these really beautiful glasses, which I may need to go home with. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Murano or Verano that is really famous for the glass blowing and you can actually just like gondola ride over, I'm pretty sure, or, or at least motorboat. These are so pretty. Every, every, every language, the menu. Huh? They have the menu in every language. Gosh, that's awesome. Yeah. Pretty sure this is like the first sip of water we're having all day and the first thing we're eating and it's 223. Also, we did make a dinner reservation on the way here we found somewhere and it looks like really nice. So we were gonna eat there, but we decided to just save it for dinner. So right now we're eating at Ristorante Convivo. 
We got prosciutto with melon and then some oysters. And espresso after dinner. Lunch. I'm not sure how much sugar I have ever. Should we send you that and stir it up? Just drink it before the crema goes away. So two minutes. Caramel toffee flavor, and it's so creamy and good. Which one did you get? Oh, cappuccino and Nutella. He says he's had better in Italy. I think you're the best one I've ever had. I should have ever had this before. Well, I think this is cool. I think I fucked up. Wait, did we get gelato two times then? Please try and pour it. Mm, I remember. Cool. I think this is the best flavor I've had. Swatch and Omega have a Swatch Sweet Master. It's like in stock, it's a line, so we're find out. Green blue, green and blue, brown. So I didn't know this was happening, so obviously I didn't get in line in time, but apparently there's only like three left and only wear maybe one of them. Three colors, right? Three colors, yeah. And even if you wanted to resell. It would be hard to sell the weird colored ones, so. It was cool to see in person, huh? I mean, I saw them in person in Florence, they're all sold out. Yeah. So, yeah, nice that they have in stock for a little bit. Who knows when they're going back? Probably never. Square I needed to sit down and crisscross applesauce and just give my legs a break. Um, but we're gonna go back to the hotel room soon because Ryan's gonna get on a call and I need to do some work and then we'll come back out. And I'm so thankful the blue skies are still here because the rain was supposed to start at 5, but it's literally like almost 5 p.m. Shoulder pad, like, like football like, shoulder pads. What's it called? I don't know. It's a like, I like a hunchback of Notre Dame. Maybe it's just how you look all the time. <laughs> I have a turtleneck on, and I just woke up for a nap. But before that, we went purse shopping, and we actually walked into this like probably the second store, and I went back for their purses. Like all of their purses, well, all the purse stores are very similar, but. I saw this one and I didn't really see it in the other one, so I went back for it. So this is my new purse. This is really the only thing I wanted to buy here in Italy at first. I wanted to buy a designer bag in Italy because there's like a tax break and everything. But then I was thinking there's like a lot of the other things I want to purchase this summer. So like maybe I shouldn't spend all that money on a designer bag, especially because I don't even know like what I want. So I'm gonna give me some time for that. But for now, this is gonna be my new bag. Um, it says, Zagara Venezia and it's pretty spacious on the inside it has like a little strap and bonus points my camera fits in here so that's awesome so we're going to go to dinner right we like had a reservation at eight apparently just, it started raining when I what he just like wrote her name he gave me she's like oh, okay Ryan yeah <laughs> I was like they write it down he's like no <laughs> I was like, okay um apparently it started raining when I was napping and Ryan had a call and it went well, so that's good. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to go outside. I want to like stay in. And stay here. I'll go walk. I don't want to. You have I a little can't. bump on your head. I Why? I have a bump. There's TV. There's a shower. You can do some more stuff here. Go watch okay. TikToks. I'm. I'm. I know. I don't. I'm not gonna be lame and stay in. But just know that What's I hate the rain. It's the rain. Rain, So, but you put your pink jacket on. Maybe you have a rain jacket right here, right? Should I do both? No. What the fuck? Wait. What? I should just wear that one. That's a rain jacket, right? Yeah, the rain jacket. Just wear Probably, that one. Probably, yeah. Is it cold? Okay. I'm gonna bear the rain. Last bit of rain, though. No more rain after this. 
No more rain in Toro, <laughs> no more rain in Rome. And what when is we get this? back in Austin, I better not see rain. <laughs> ever had. I didn't bring my camera out since it was raining, but I actually ended up stopping like literally 20 minutes after we left and there was like a rainbow and it was stunning. The sun came out and it was just really, really pretty. So we walked around a little bit and then we went to this one dinner place that we actually made a reservation at and thank God we did because when we came in, they were like turning people away already, but like they like made a table for us because we we said we had a reservation which like again I'm pretty sure Ryan said this but he didn't take down our name he didn't like take down anything and the guy wasn't even there so like if we just said I didn't I I I like didn't see his face but anyways it was just kind of crazy how they like just know um, or we just like walked in pretty confidently and said like yeah we have a reservation for 8 p.m. so I don't know but it was so good like probably yeah, I did. I said that, that they made a table for us, like, right in front of, like, the little kitchen. Side. Yeah. And, um, I'm just, like, the dinner was so good. I, I just loss of words, oh, wow. I guess. Probably, like, the best dinner we've had since we've been in Italy. What do you think? Aside think from that food, Indian restaurant. I think the food was just, like, you could really just eat it, you know? It's not like you'd, like, pick seafood and, like... No, it, like, just, it was just so... You have to cut up, like... The risotto is so good. Okay, so the fish on the risotto, obviously, like, I wish there was more of it, but it seems to be, like, a delicacy that they're, the fish, it was called, was it called goby? G-O-B-Y? Goby, yeah. Um, it only swims in inland. the, in, inland, so bay. not in the ocean. It won't go to the ocean. It won't go to the ocean. <laughs> so it was really good. I wish there was more of it in the risotto, but so good. My pasta was kind of like this beef, beef cheek in the pasta. So cabeza. Oh, it was cup, 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 cup. Be Cappa Celli or something? Oh my god. I just realized the lighting was really weird. But we also got a water to go because I am obsessed with this water. It's the best water I've ever tasted in my life. That's not an exaggeration, okay? This is the shit. <laughs> you can't buy it online. You can't buy it. <laughs> I searched <laughs> Amazon. Cool, we asked cool. the guy. He was like, oh, we source it from like a it. private yeah. person. You can't find <clears> it. I was like, please, just please send me some. Like, please get me on your sourcing San list Benedito. or something. It's San Benedito. Benedi Why can't I talk? San Benedito. And it's premium water. It's not the Guys. average water. Mm -mm. It's so good. Anyways, dinner was so good. Highly, highly recommend if you guys are coming to Venice, you have to go there, but make a reservation because again they were turning people away and they kept saying sorry to us which we were like honestly vibing so much that i didn't really care that they were taking too long and i didn't really notice at all but um yeah make a reservation we like went around like two and made a reservation but i think after that they stopped taking them it's day two in venice and we have to leave later today <laughs> not even we don't even have that many hours here in venice but um, first thing on the list is to do a gondola ride and gondola rides range from like 80 euros to 100 euros which is like more than $100 which is kind of crazy. I kind of remembered that from last time because I came with three other pe or two other people so we all split it and 
yeah, so just so you know, they're not like super cheap, um, but I'm excited to do one today. Ryan said that it's really nice out. Um, he already went and just walked around a little bit while I was getting ready. Straightened my hair for the first time, and I like it. Huh? Not a cloud in the sky anymore. Not a cloud in the sky. Yay! No more rain! I'm so excited. Okay, I'll show you guys my dress and my outfit for the day. Today's outfit is a little bit booby, not gonna lie, but I wanted to wear this in Venice and not Rome because I feel like we're not gonna be here for too much longer, but in Rome we're gonna be walking around and I didn't want it to be like annoying for me. So this dress is from Shopo and I feel like I don't wear floral stuff very often, but I really liked the fit of this. And I'm wearing my new balances. Literally, if you told me to wear sneakers with a dress like 10 years ago, I'd be like, hell no. But honestly, comfort over everything right now. We have a vision dude, it's a young... Uh... Got off the gondola ride. It was 30 minutes for 70 euros. I don't think I mentioned the time, but Ryan actually got me this pastry before when he was walking out, so now I actually have time to eat it. Nutella, right? Yeah. 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 Yum. It has some, uh, hmm? it has some hazelnuts sprinkled in there, too. Hmm. I'm very allergic, so we got them for you. We're about to head to Rialto Bridge. We're just doing a little bit of last minute sightseeing. We're gonna get lunch and then we just booked our train ticket, pretty last minute. Um, and we are gonna be leaving the train station at 4.30. So that means we probably have to leave our hotel by two because we just like stored our luggage in there. Um, but that's kind of one reason why I wanted to do a hotel for Venice because I knew we would have to like store our luggage and like Airbnbs don't really do that. So just kind of like something to think about when you're booking places to stay. We literally just looked over and I saw that chip thing and I want it so bad. <laughs> so we're gonna get it. We're gonna try it out. Not a trying the potato. I definitely thought it was gonna be crispier. <laughs> it looks a lot crispier than it is. <laughs> Not bad though. I didn't think when I, he asked me what sauce, I thought it was gonna be dipping sauce, not all over the potato. <laughs> We got lunch at this random place and it ended up having a garden in the back and it was so pretty. Um, I just got Cal Maria, I wasn't too hungry, but Ryan got a pizza. And now we're at the water bus, the public water bus. It's 750 euros per person, so 15 per couple, I guess. Um, and it takes 40 minutes. I'm not sure if I mentioned this when we arrived here, but it takes 40-ish minutes to get to the train station and to get here. I think we're at the San Zacharia stop, and it's very close to the St. Mark's Square. So we got here pretty early. We got here at 2. Our train leaves at 4.30, so just want to give us a good bit of buffer time. But we're saying bye to Venice. Sad. Got a little bit. 
Yeah, I'm excited for round two. Got a little bit of seafood. And now it's time for the best food, in my opinion. Carbonara, Amatrishana. I'm so excited. I made it to the train station and look at this. Look at the view right outside of the train station. It's beautiful. We found this little cafe right at the train station because we're so early, so we're gonna sit here and chill for a little. A cheesecake and an iced coffee. Try it. I'm getting sleepy, maybe that will help. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have a sip. <laughs> Yummy. The last one I had was like foamy. You're, I'm gonna hate it. It's so coffee shaker. It's so better. It's a coffee tasting. Let me try it. Let me try. It was sweet at first, but then yeah, the coffee really did it. You weren't lying. I didn't know which way you would believe me or not. <laughs> I think it's good.